Wow. So that episode happened. And I can't lie, I don't think I'm going to surprise anyone by saying that I absolutely love that from start to finish. I think it was epic, it was finale full, it was a big, fast-paced Doctor Who adventure. Like, it felt like everything... I, if, if, if you want me to give you a bit of criticism early on, yes, I would say, is it fully like an anniversary special no, I, I don't I don't think you can argue that what we had over the 60th celebrates all of who I I I I pers I like like there's lots of little elements of it but I don't think you can fully argue that it celebrates all of who so let's first of all talk about the by regeneration because obviously that's going to be the way, that's going to be the bit that gets a lot of controversy and a lot of a lot of people being stupid and weird about the controversial stuff, like... Honestly, I didn't mind. And I know people are gonna, like, compare that to, like, the Timeless Child debate. I feel like the problem is... And this is the last... I hope this is the last time I have to talk about the Timeless Child. The Timeless Child, for me, changes who the Doctor is as a character. Makes them the special character rather than them being special for their actions. This doesn't, this is just a kind of like cool different plot mechanic. Does it make tons and tons of sense? No, not really. Is it fun enough? Yeah, completely. And I'm very happy to back it because, you know, that means David Tennant can pop in again. And I think people were sceptical at the start of this, but now I think people realise, you know, pe people have got back into the David Tennant spirit. He's a fantastic actor. He's it's been smashing the game on this show over many, many years now, and if he fancies coming back and doing another little stint, good for him. And I think it also, I don't know, I like I like the idea that, you know, throughout these specials, you know, like, it set up the Doctor as a character, like, the light doesn't stop running. And now he's kind of stopped running. And I think, I think, I think there's really, really nice elements to that. Also, can we talk about Neil Patrick Harris, please? Because my guy is chewing the scenery. That man must never have been fasting because, my God, every minute he was getting extra calories from that scenery. And it was delicious. I went with the food metaphor for too long and I regret it. No, I don't. Back yourself. Neil Patrick Harris smashed the game there. Honestly, I, I, it's kind of weird. I don't think there's a way for him to come back. But, like, Aladdin 2, The Return of Jafar managed it. So, like, I'll back it if suddenly Neil Patrick Harris wants to come back. Uh, and also, a little spoiler note, like, 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 like the master. The little the little master tease. Russell's picking up on that. That's cool. Who's going to be our RTD2 master? That's going to be a casting for another video. Please let Sash Dwan come back. Sash Dwan is class. And I love him. Got a lot of cool returning characters here. Obviously, you know, the Noble family came in at the end. Obviously, you know, we had Kate lethbridge Stewart coming back, and we know she's in RTD2. And I feel like if the unit spin-off wasn't being set up before, I feel like it is now. You know, maybe Donna comes in and works for unit. Like, like Catherine Tate has been saying a lot recently about how Doctor Who is her best job. Maybe Catherine wants to come back to the Hooniverse a little bit more consistently. Who knows? I'm not going to say no. But I think... I like the way that they, they never undid Donna's art. And obviously, by the way, I, no one believed me. I all knew, I, I knew, and a lot of other people did too, but I knew that Russell T Davies was trolling when he said that Donna was going to die. Of course Donna wasn't going to die. It's Donna. You're not just going to torture the character over and over and over again. That ending made a lot of sense for the character. And Donna come, you know, I, I think, I think the unit's been us happening. I'm talking in tangents. But you love my tangents. You all love my tangents. Otherwise, you'd have clicked off this video by now. Please don't let that, please don't let that be the stimulus for you clicking off this video, because that would make me really sad. Overall, yeah, Russell, Russell talking about this episode maybe not being for kids. I, 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 I kind of get it, because he talked about that with the last, like, like, we, like, we had a lot of, like, weird and creepy stuff in this sixth year. I think it could be indicative of what his era could be. A mix of some fun camp and silly and some, like, dark stuff. And I like that. I like that when he's making an episode, he's going for like a tone and sticking to it really, really cool. Really, really cool. Really, really well. And smashing the game. I love it. Just gotta talk about Shooty as well. My man comes in and smashes it from the beginning. I am 
so unbelievably excited for Christmas and Shooty. Like, I feel like he has a lot of the Whovians backing, as he should. I think he's going to be fantastic. And I cannot wait for that man to brilliantly carry forward the legacy of this show. Oh my god, he's going to kill it. And I'm so excited for him. And I'm so excited to see what he does. Plot here as well. Just, 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 it's, it's just, it's just really, really cool. And you know, like, little bits of time travel and some, some Disney money. My god, can we talk about some of the Disney money and Neil Patrick Harris? And the problem is, it was like, 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 this thing, oh, not a problem. In fact, I feel like the only problem I had with it, if I had to have a problem, was that it was like, so fast paced that, like, like, I'd probably liked it to have maybe been, like, like 15 minutes more, maybe? Like, to, like, add, like, 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 because, like, like, everything was so fast-paced. And, like, the ending, that, like, last little 10 minutes was a little bit rushed, maybe. Just a tinsy bit rushed all the ending stuff. And, like, you know, I don't, I don't, I'd have loved if it had just given itself a little bit of space to breathe, because it just wasn't enough of it, and I was enjoying it. 75 minutes, give us 90 minutes, give us a three-hour film. I just want more Doctor Who. Those are my thoughts for today. I will sure I will have lots more thoughts for you in the coming days. So please subscribe and like this video and comment and click that video. Click that video right here, cause it's a video for you to click on. Click on, click on. Also, didn't shoot, you look really look good the Christmas Day special. Oh my god, I'm in Doctor Who Mania!